Hi, so today's video is about hydrocele and uh, I'm going to discuss briefly about the clinical signs and symptoms and history taking about the hydrocele. Hydrocele is basically the abnormal quantity of fluid within the tunica vaginalis. So it is abnormal quantity of fluid within tunica vaginalis. It has two types, primary hydrocele and secondary hydrocele. So, primary hydrocele is always idiopathic. This means that there is a known unknown cause of this hydrocele. And secondary hydrocele has a cause, basically many causes. So, with cause is secondary hydrocele and the causes may include trauma, any kind of trauma, epididymo or chitis. And uh, epididymo or chitis and other infections as well. Only or chitis, epididymitis, etc. Then comes tumor. Tumor can be testicular tumor. And at the end comes the lymphatic obstruction. Lymphatic obstruction. So uh, the primary uh, hydrocele is basically slow in development. It slowly progresses and it is large in size and it's tense to touch. It's hard and firm to touch. And it usually happens in more than 40 years of age and also in children. In children with the primary idiopathic hydrocele, the patent processes vaginalis is present and uh, there is also a variety of inguinal hernia with it as well. And the swelling may be intermittent and uh, it occurs in 2 to 5% of newborns males and 90% of cases resolve within one year of age. The secondary hydrocele is basically it progresses very fast. Its progression is fast. So it's rapid in progression and it is lax opposite to that of primary that was tense. It is lax and there is altered blood present so uh, the the age is basically in older age groups it's in older age groups as uh, trauma infections tumors and lymphatic obstructions are common in older age groups and children are not usually affected by these so it is more common in older age groups so um, hydrocele basically the main point is that to differentiate it from uh, other swelling or inguinal hernia, we do a trans elimination test. The trans elimination test differentiates it from other uh, inguinal hernia and it is positive in hydrocele. This means that whenever you just uh, touch a torch or a light, uh, just put a light on the hydrocele or the swelling or scrotal swelling, you see that there is a trans elimination. That means that you can see the light passing through and no opacity is present, trans elimination is present. So this is also helpful. The next thing we are going to uh, see is, this is all about the questions that we can ask in history. The symptoms will be like increase in the size of testes or a swelling in the scrotum and uh, the patient may be embarrassed socially and uh, that is why he didn't tell anyone. So, uh, and the most important point is that it does not affect fertility. It does not affect fertility. So, you don't have to worry about that. 
The other thing is examination. On examination, the spermatic cord can be felt above the swelling. So when the spermatic cord is felt above the swelling, so it is the most important and diagnostic feature of hydrocele from the uh, differentiating it from the epididymal cyst. The color and temperature is uh, normal over the scrotal skin. The color and temperature is normal. Normal. The, uh, there is uh, actually uh, in primary hydrocele there is no tenderness but in secondary hydrocele it is first and uh, it's like uh, due to an infection etc so it may be tender on touch. The uh, hydrocele size can be enorm enormous and uh, almost 500 ml of fluid can be accumulated in the scrotum and it is ovoid in shape. And uh, the surface is uh, smooth and uh, well defined and the weak spot is present and that is where fluctuation can occur. Weak spot. At weak spot fluctuation occurs and fluctuation is like almost a hernia of the fluid into the scrotal skin. So a dimple is present whenever you press it with the finger. Then comes the composition and the composition is also it's like clear straw colored fluid and it is rich in proteins. There may be fluid thrift present if the uh, scrotum is large enough, uh, hydrocele is large enough and dull percussion note. Usually trans elimination is present. Then the next point is that uh, about the uh, paraiotic lymph nodes. In secondary hydrocele, when there is testicular tumor present, you always palpate for paraiotic lymph nodes because the testicular cancer always, always, uh, mostly like uh, drains into paraiotic lymph nodes. So to rule out testicular tumor, you have to uh, palpate the paraiotic lymph nodes. Okay, and uh, the skin is always freely mobile over the swelling. So this is all about the hydrocele, the surgical signs and symptoms and the more important points, some important points that you can ask uh, in hydrocele patients. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this video and, uh, may, and you may benefit from it. And uh, for more video suggestions, kindly write the comments and uh, I can uh, make those videos for you and I hope it helps. Please subscribe my channel and share and like this video. Thank you so much for watching.